What's up guys, I am Black Ops Amaze. Today I've got quite a bit of information for you guys. We've got some information on Black Ops 2 Zombies. We've got some information on new Black Ops 2's multiplayer guns. We've got a bit of information on Modern Warfare 3 as well. So I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get on with it. So let's start off with Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now a couple of days ago the trailer for this was actually revealed and it was for Zombies. Now I have to say it looked absolutely amazing. We got to see a bus that obviously has got to play a main part within Black Ops 2 Zombies and I actually did a breakdown of that buzz and what I thought it meant in a different video. So what I will do is put a link at the top of the screen. If you want to go check that video out, it's really good, then I recommend you go and click it and have a look at that. So guess what? We've got another world premiere trailer for Black Ops 2 Zombies coming up and it's actually coming on the 26th of September so what is it now it's the 21st so it's actually coming in five days from now that's less than a week so that's next Wednesday so that'll be really awesome so it's world premiere it's we actually got a little short trailer a couple of days ago but this will be a massive one it's like the multiplayer reveal trailer it will be about two to three minutes long something like that that's just what I'm guessing but the Black Ops 2's Zombies trailer world premiere reveal will be on the 26th of September and I'll have more information on that I'll have a breakdown of it uh, the day that it comes out so next off we're going to be taking a look at some new multiplayer guns that Activision have released. So first off we've got the M27, we've then got the HAMR, I'm not too sure how you pronounce that properly. Then we've got the MTAR, so that's the TAR from Modern Warfare 2. Obviously it's a bit moddy, it's a bit futuristic, so it's nice to see the TAR come back, it's a really awesome gun. Awesome gun. We've got another sniper, it's the XPR50. Then obviously we've got the 5.7 from Modern Warfare 3 and finally we've got the more futuristic cross. So again, some really awesome guns and it's nice to see that Treyarch are carrying on and uh, just researching all the, all the futuristic technology. So I'd also like to let you know that Activision are no longer selling new Elite Premium membership cards for Modern Warfare 3, so if you want to get your hands on one of them, I don't see why you would, but if you haven't got any of the content, then you can buy one of these and you will get all the DLC that has been released for Modern Warfare 3. So if you do want to get your hands on one of them, then you can't get it new, so you'll have to buy it from a second-hand website, something like eBay or Amazon, or something like that. So that's really it for this video, it's just been a little short update video, but there is something really cool I'd like to add on to the end. So you can see this, now this is actually a mod for the PlayStation 3. Now this guy has actually made this himself, he's designed it as one of the most impressive custom case mods to date. Don't get too excited though, this appears to be one of a kind. There's actually no mention of a price yet, there actually is, I'll be telling you the price in a minute. Uh, but the emblems are made out of real carbon fibre which sits on top of the PlayStation 3 that lights up red LEDs so uh, we actually can't wait to get an official PS3 bundle like this. I know we've had Xbox 360 like exclusive Call of Duty Xboxes stuff like that but we haven't really had anything for the PlayStation 3. Anyway uh, this is uh, like a one off thing he's made this once. It's actually up for sale at $85. Uh, for the custom PS3 case mod, you don't actually get the PlayStation 3, you just get the case mod, but he's only selling it locally as well, so I just thought I'd add that onto the end, as it's really nice, and the console does look really nice with that on top. So that's it for this video, guys, I thought it'd be a nice way to end it with that lovely PlayStation 3 there, I have to say, it does look absolutely amazing, even though I am an Xbox fan. Hope you've enjoyed the video, it's just been a little update, a little quick update on new Black Ops 2 multiplayer guns and zombies and information like that, so we will have another video out today, it's going to actually be about some new maps that have been leaked for Black Ops 2. So be looking forward to that. If you're not already subscribed, then go ahead and click that button. And you can see that video later on today. We've had some gameplay in the background here. Actually taken by my friend Zach. I've recorded it for him. I'll put his channel link in the description as well. So that's it for this video, guys. Peace.